Hello my friends, today we're back in Luminar Neo and we are going to edit this image. Also, I have some good news from Skylum team about Luminar Neo 5th extension. But uh, before I tell you about the new extension and I'll tell you what is going to be, I just want to say hello if you're new to this channel and remind you that I have a playlist of Luminar Neo tutorials that has over a hundred tutorials in it with just Luminar Neo where I go through every single tool and lots of examples and photo editing. So it will, you know, get you up to speed uh, by using Luminar Neo. Now let's talk about the fifth extension that got revealed from Luminar Neo. The fifth extension, it's going to be focus stacking. If you're not familiar to focus stacking, it is a very handy tool that will increase your depth of field and we will be able to merge up to a hundred photos into the focus stacking extension to, you know, achieve that greater depth of field. So now that the big news is out of the way, let's get into editing this image. This is an image I took yesterday while I was just practicing product photography. And I will just do a very simple edit. And the main thing I wanna show you how I do is this uh, over here, this prop. You see how it's not straight up and down. It's a little bit of an angle. I wanna straighten it so it kind of looks like this one. So let's do this edit. The first thing I want to do is go into develop. As you can see, this is a raw image straight from the camera as we have develop raw. So I will just do a couple of really, you know, easy edits here. I will add a little bit of smart contrast, not too much. And I will add some vibrance, maybe around 26. And then also I want to add some enhance. Something like that. That just makes the photo pop. And let's see, what else do I want to do? I want to bring out some details here into the bottle just to, you know, lift the shadows so we can see more of those details. So there we go. We'll go with something like that. But these ones, I will just mask it with a brush into the shot, into the bottle. So fun fact, if you are wondering what Skylar Ewing smells like, well, this is my personal perfume. This is what I've been using for the last five years or so. It's my favorite perfume. So this is what I smell like. All right, there you go. Now we get more details into the bottle. I like that a lot better. Now our basic edits, this is the before, this is the after. You see how the photo just pops. So maybe I wanna add a little bit more whites over here on the cap. Let's go to that, add some more whites, maybe bring the blacks down just a little bit. I will just mask it with the brush right here, make the brush smaller, just to create a little bit more, um, what do you call that, texture into this gap. There you go. And that is better. Now let's straighten this part. To do that, first I want to duplicate this layer. So I'll just do D to duplicate it. And now with the duplicated layer, I will create a mask and I will do a linear gradient. And I'm going to make this linear gradient very, very abrupt. Just something, let's see if I can get it straight. Uh, something, something like that. So now I'm selecting just this part over here with a very little amount of feather. And now I will go to properties and I will rotate it to straighten it. So that looks pretty straight right there. But now you see how the bottom parts over here, they don't meet. So I have to lift it up until it looks straight like it belongs there. And that looks good. Let's see. Now we have a little bit of funny business over here. We can either use the clone tool to remove that or we can just crop the image. So let's see, this is our image so far before and after. You see how we straighten it before and after. And I think I will just crop the image because that's the easier thing to do. But you could use the clone stem tool and just, you know, straighten that part. There we go. Apply that and our image, this is the before, this is the after. Let me know in the comments below if you do product photography or if you would like to see any of the behind the scenes and learn how to do photos like this. 
But this is pretty much for today. Just a simple edit. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyla Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.